trying to kill me if you weren't here right now. I know. Trust me. You will need my help once we reach the artifact. These people are nothing compared to its power. I'm not getting rid of you, am I? Don't worry. I'll grow on you. <sighs> I've seen mechanisms like this before. I'll get the light working. You direct the beams to those plates near the door.
One to go. Those parts and weapons are so strange. They're from my land. What are they doing here? It's an illusion caused by the artifact. And you being near it. That mask looks unique. I've torn many of those masks from the faces of cultists. Even knowing their illusions, and to see all these things from my... my... Home? I don't have a home. Not anymore. You're not so bad to work with, after all. Terrible at following orders, though. <laughs> Give me a little credit. It's my first time working with another person in... I don't know how many years. That must get lonely. It does, from time to time. But it's the path I'm meant to walk. Anyway, I should get going. It's not good for me to stay in one place long. Thank you for your help. 
truly. Wait. The Norse celebrate their victories. And since in the end you did help, why not come out for a drink with me? I don't know about that. It's not really good for me to be seen by too many people. If everyone drinks enough, no one will ever know you were here. All right. What can it hurt? Hopefully you're ahead tomorrow morning if we have a great time. Meet you at the Longhouse in Kilterakli. See you there.
Dunga Firchelon for Af Lingasi. There you are. Ready for that drink? Let's head inside. What is it? There are a lot of people. I haven't been to a party in some time. I guess I'm nervous. It's not as though you're going in there alone. I'll be with you. I guess you're right. Let's go inside. Ready for a drink? What about you? Ah. <laughs> I've always wanted to try meat. Can't be any worse than my guess wine. Hey, boy. What do you say we find out who the real Norse is with a little drink? <laughs>
I drank all the mead. That makes me the better Norseman. Better indeed. Congratulations. I haven't been this drunk in a thousand years. Huh? A thousand years? What are you talking about? Uh, never mind. <laughs> well, yeah. you really are drunk. Now you're just spouting nonsense. <laughs> no, no, it's a Greek swear word. It's malaka. 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 That's it. You got it. Now, let me teach the you. The bride and the groom are here. Are we crashing a wedding? It was arrogant to assume these people were here to celebrate us, saving their asses. Come, let's join in their revelry. Who saved the island and our wedding? I did a little more than she did. But yes. We would love it if you both gave a toast at our wedding. <laughs> we hardly know you. What would we say? But your exploits have made our wedding a day to remember. I could be up for that. What about you, Eivor? All right. But if we're going to do this together, Cassandra, let's make it interesting. What do you suggest? A flighting competition, of course. Ah, I've never tried it myself. I should warn you, though, I've battled wits with great philosophers. Stop boasting and prove yourself. Ahem. My day began the strangest way. An axe thrown at my head, tending to slay. There stood Eivor, hot-headed and brash. <laughs> you wish you had the skill to swing first. Not too quick on his feet, is he? He took an ambush or two, one dusty old temple for Eivor to see that I could be helpful. But somehow I've melted his cold Norse heart. <laughs> and despite her transgressions, I'll give her a fresh start. I really thought this would be better. Eivor did the heavy lifting, left the tracking job to I. In the end, we triumphed, chasing the nightmares far from sky. And to the bride and groom on this historic day. If your love survived this, nothing stands in your way. Well, that was certainly something. Maybe you two should stick to saving the day and leave the storytelling to the scouts. It's been a while since I've been the center of attention. How did it feel? <laughs> Strangely familiar. I'm glad you invited me here tonight. 
It was nothing. No, really. Thank you. I needed this. More than I knew. What do you say we make that bride's day and get rid of that asshole? Don't you mean that, Malaka? <laughs> Indeed. We actually saved it twice. All in a day's work. <laughs> Did you come for the wedding? I couldn't miss it. My cousin is the bride. And of course, I should thank you. Mm. Clearly, you were able to help my people. Otherwise, we wouldn't be here celebrating. I can't take all the credit. I had some help. True. Valka put you on this path after all. Was she right, by the way? Did you part ways with that girl? Randvi, as she foresaw. No. Randvi was never on the other sky. Ah, well, even Valkar makes mistakes. Still, it's good you didn't need to say goodbye to a friend. What an unforgettable night.